On September 9, 2024, a column consisting of three tanks and six BMD from the 106th Regiment moved from the settlement of Kornevo toward the village of Snagost in the Kursk border area. En route, Russian forces successfully breached a checkpoint held by the Ukrainian armed forces and continued their assault. Upon arriving in Snagust, the column was divided into three groups, each taking strategic positions to block the Ukrainian forces' retreat routes and forming a circular defense to secure their positions. This defense held for three full days, with Russian forces maintaining their positions while awaiting the arrival of main units from the armed forces of the Russian Federation to reinforce the attack. The strategy aimed to ensure there were no gaps for Ukrainian forces to escape, while also strengthening Russian control over the village of Snagost. The siege and blockade tactics employed by Russia sought to dismantle the mobility and counteroffensive opportunities of Ukrainian forces by controlling vital retreat routes. Отстреливаются, да? Да. Отстреливаются. Отстреливаются. In the Kursk border area, Russian forces from the Sever group detected the movement of armored vehicles belonging to the Ukrainian armed forces. Upon detection, Russian forces promptly launched artillery strikes with aerial surveillance support from drones. This attack successfully destroyed the enemy vehicles along with their crews. The enemy convoy consisting of CV-90 infantry fighting vehicles from Sweden, Martyr 1A3 from Germany, and Leopard tanks was destroyed about 1.5 kilometers from the Russian border before it could penetrate the Veseloye and Medvezhye areas. The movement of the convoy was continuously monitored by Russian UAVs, which directed artillery fire until the convoy was obliterated. Additionally, the attack was supported by Russian attack helicopters, adding pressure on Ukrainian forces. According to reports from the Russian Ministry of Defense, Ukrainian forces lost two tanks, including one Leopard, two CV-90 infantry fighting vehicles, eight armored vehicles, a howitzer, and one additional vehicle during this battle. Meanwhile, engineering units from the Sever Group successfully constructed pontoon bridges over a river in the Kursk border area. This strategic step is crucial for ensuring continuous delivery of ammunition, oil, and food supplies for the armed forces of the Russian Federation. However, 
The situation remains tense as the enemy has initiated attacks on the newly constructed pontoon bridges using HIMARS multiple launch rocket systems. Footage from the enemy side shows their attempts to disrupt the logistics of Russian forces in the southern Kursk region. These actions reflect a deliberate effort to complicate the supply routes for Russian troops, further escalating the operational challenges and maintaining effective support for ground units. Although the bridges were destroyed by AFU militants, the supply chain for the troops remains robust, highlighting the resilience and adaptability of logistical operations in the area. Overall, the operations carried out by Russian forces in the Kursk border area demonstrate the implementation of effective and coordinated strategies. By utilizing siege tactics and artillery strikes supported by aerial surveillance, Russia has managed to dismantle the movement of Ukrainian forces and strengthen their control over strategic areas. Despite facing attacks on logistical routes such as pontoon bridges, the resilience and adaptability of logistical operations remain intact, ensuring supplies are available to support broader military operations. This action not only highlights the challenges faced by Ukrainian forces, but also reaffirms Russia's commitment to maintaining their positions in the region. As always, thank you for watching and exploring the extraordinary stories from the world of military operations, strategic maneuvers, and cutting-edge technology. We hope this insight has provided you with a deeper understanding and appreciation of the complexity and advancements in military strategy and technology.